Hi everyone, today I will design a micro strip patch antenna in CST using only MATLAB code. First of all, you have to download this zip file. You have to, you will you can download it from the link here and I will put this link as a description. And before starting, let's get through the tutorial of the CST. First of all, first of all, if you create new template file, let me create some template for next, uh, this doesn't matter what are the parameters here, for example, put 4e field, and it creates a blank uh, CST project, but it's not blank at all, there is a history list, there is one entity in history list, where it is defined the, the units of the project, the frequency range, the background, material definition, the boundary definitions and the other solver parameters here and along with the field monitor and etc. And before designing and simulating your uh, CST project you have to design, define all these parameters and if you for example model something for example let's model some brick and if we click OK, it also adds uh, some entities in the history list where, for example, for, for a brick, it defines X, Y, Z dimensions, its material, its, and its name, and uh, the component. And after this, let us look at the MATLAB code for designing CST project. And as I said, go to the link download the zip file, then extract its uh, zip file into the same folder. And uh, also download this CST MATLAB code that was written by me. And let us look at the code. First of all, you will have to add the uh, path of the uh, MATLAB into the code. You can add this from here by just uh, copying in this link then uh, in the next two lines it will open the CST and set the default unit here you can define the minimum and the maximum frequency of the CST project and CST define frequency range function will define it in the CST next uh, it will define the mesh parameters and uh, on the next line, you will define the uh, boundary conditions of your CST. Because we are going to design microstrip antenna, uh, you will have to have expanded open conditions in all three uh, ways, dimensions. Next, we define background material here. And next, we will define some parameters of the, our uh, microstrip antenna. And we, we have also defined the materials that will be used in our simulation. And these parameters will only be defined in MATLAB. So in the end, there will be no parameters in the CST. You have to define them manually in your project. Next, let's come to the here. We are defined the ground plane, component, material, and X, Y, and Z, uh, Z uh, dimensions of the components. As you can see, these are the same with the uh, history entity in the CST. So it will be easier for you to design all, all the projects here because they are very similar. And CST brick function just defines, uh, just create brick in CST by using the, these parameters here. Next, we define substrate, patch, uh, empathy space and we just subtract them and this these are all the uh, uh, familiar you are the familiar with these codes uh, these are the history entities in your project you can get them from your other projects and in the end uh, it can we will define port number defining its range and there are some other methods for defining port number. 
and just uh, create uh, this line just creates port number and we can define a h and five field monitors for our microstrip antenna and we will save the project and of course we must define time domain solver parameter and uh, in the end it will run the code and will design a microstrip antenna and start simulating let's just click play and if we just look at the csd it will design all the microstrip patch antenna with insert feed create a port number is number one and start simulating and in the end we will have the result let's just wait and see by the end uh, we will not have the all this uh, stuff defined here in our csd as a history list so if you have to make some changes here you have to do them afterwards manually and also let's look at the components it's ground plane patch and substrate this is uh, are the same stuff that we had in our previous videos also we had the field monitors a h and fire field which will have defined here a h and fire field and that's all let us look at the s parameter we haven't published it yet let's say five four uh, three so we have just good s parameter here and fire field let's look at the fire field not bad but good so in the end you can just by coding in MATLAB you can design everything in CSD so uh, let us look at the folder what are inside in this folder so there are some functions here and there are some examples where you can uh, you can use um, this uh, to dipole example microstrip example monopole example and also uh, all the functions that uh, will be used are defined here here we have activate local uh, coordinate system define units define background materials all kind of stuff that uh, you will define in csd are defined here and these are the materials you can define your material here just click csd plot and define all these parameters for your material and save it as m file so you will have the new material and here we have the modeling we will have add align cs file these are corresponding these are the corresponding to the uh, csd let us show you for example add is just uh, this functions which adds uh, parameter if we close click here and we uh, and let's, let's just give it all the examples and it will add this cor corresponds to this uh, function in CST we have other functions which create bricks cylinders squares and substructs and everything so uh, this is all if you have any questions you can ask below the video and in my uh, next videos i will try and design reflector antenna using cst and matlab so have a good day bye